Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at how you can block access from all devices connecting to your Synology NAS except for your local network. Now this has been a popular question I've received since last week when I had released a video on um, the ransomware warning that Synology put out. So this is kind of part two to that. As it seems like a lot of people are somewhat unaware of the state of their NAS at this point. So Synology offers things like UPnP, which can automatically open ports on your router, and you might have ports open that you aren't aware of. Now, first, I'd suggest that you check out those ports and you make sure that whatever's opened is supposed to be opened, and if not, everything else should be closed. However, you can take it one step further using Synology's firewall, and you can limit access to only local devices connecting to DSM. In essence, this will block anybody from trying to access your NAS other than your local network. Now, I want to be clear that if you have a device on your local network that is compromised in any type of way, you can still be attacked indirectly. So a direct attack would be someone trying to access your NAS directly. An indirect attack would be someone trying to access your NAS through a different device. Ultimately, security is ever evolving. So you have to ensure that you keep up with everything. You're never gonna get everything 100% bulletproof unless you just disconnect it from the internet. And at that point, you won't have a NAS. So the best thing you can do is try and implement best practices. So this firewall rule, while pretty simple, it will give you comfort in knowing that only devices on your local network will be able to access your NAS. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you have to open up a command prompt, or if you're on Mac, open up a terminal and uh, run the command ipconfig if you're on Windows or ifconfig if you're on Mac. And from there, you should see an IPv4 address. So this IPv4 address is the local IP address of whatever device you're currently on. And through DHCP, your router will hand out an IP address. So without getting too technical, you can have a static IP address, meaning that this IP address will never change, or more likely you'll have a dynamic IP address and it will have a certain reservation period. But really all we care about here is the subnet that we're using. So you'll see that I'm using the 192.168.1 subnet. And then after that, you'll see that my IP address is .21. Now we're gonna head over to Synology's firewall and we're gonna create a new firewall rule. And I'm going to select the built-in application for the management UI. Now I'll do it for uh, HTTP and HTTPS. After that, I'm going to select specific IP and then I'm gonna change it from single host to subnet. Now inside of here, we're going to put 192.168.1.0. Now if the subnet you're using is something like 10.5.0.x, for example, you're gonna to have to put in that IP address 10.5.0.0. The key here is that the last digit is gonna be zero and then the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0. Now this will ensure that every single IP address from 192.168.1.2 all the way to 192.168.1.254 will be able to access your NAS. So if you have specific IP addresses, meaning if your local devices have static IP addresses and you wanna ensure that only a few of them can access your NAS, you don't have to use the subnet. You don't have to say that every device on your local network can access the NAS. You can specify just individual IP addresses and then those IP addresses are the only ones that will be able to access it. However, this is kind of an easy blanket rule that just ensures that only local traffic can get to your NAS. Everything else is gonna be denied. So after you go through and substitute whatever numbers are there for you, um, and you save this, the last rule that you have to create is the deny all rule. Now it's really important to first understand exactly how the firewall functions. So I have a video that explains everything on Synology's firewall. I'll leave a pop-up for that now. I do suggest you watch this, especially if you're not using Synology's firewall. It'll just explain everything in greater detail, but you'll be able to go through at this point and then create the bottom rule as a deny all rule. So it runs from top to bottom. It will come through, it will check the local IP address. If the IP address matches, it will allow you in. If it doesn't match, it will deny you. Um, you'll have to go through and create firewalls for all of your applications. However, for that, that's why I'm gonna leave a pop-up and that's why you should watch that video. Um, however, once this is all said and done and you save this firewall rule, 
you should have local access only to DSM. So I'm hoping that this helped you feel a little bit more comfortable with how people can access your NAS. However, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks guys.